Martin Shaw is currently appearing at the Shaftesbury Theatre London. Stay with us for comedy next with A Fine Romance. My dealings with that family are over. I think mine are just beginning. On Tuesday at 9 o'clock, episode 6 of Brideshead Revisited. Julia. Now, what right have you to ask so much when you give so little? I'm saving Rex from mortal sin. Don't be irreverent, Julia. Well, isn't it a mortal sin to sleep with Brenda Champion? I'll never see her again. I warned you this would happen if I went in there. You did nothing of the kind. You merely said there might be a scene. Well, Rex, a mixed marriage is usually conducted very quietly. No splash. How do you mean mixed? I'm not a nigger or anything. No, darling. Between a Catholic and a Protestant. Oh, if that's all, they would soon unmixed. Hail Mary. Brideshead revisited on Tuesday at 9 o'clock. I don't believe these priests know everything. We're not asking you to risk your souls. Just keep away. So worried, Robert. It's about my checkup. Next stop, the dentist. Mm. How many fillings last time? Well, only one. Ooh, better than most, but even one isn't good enough. What you need is Colgate. It tastes nice. And what Colgate and every mum really wants is zero fillings. We hope that will happen one day. But meanwhile, Colgate's always been one of the most effective toothpaste against fillings. And now, since they've introduced a new Colgate with an advanced fluoride system for even fewer fillings, it's even better. Clinical tests by independent dentists on, well, hundreds of children proved it. And that could mean fewer fillings for you, Robert. That's what I want. That's what they're working for at Colgate. Zero fillings. And no other toothpaste comes closer. Nobody's working harder than Colgate for zero fillings. In nature, sound has a purity and depth echoed by Hitachi Hi-Fi. A direct drive deck controlled by quartz, nature's gift to science. Precise tuning accuracy with clarity and power. Because we rely on the truths of nature, you can rely on us. Hitachi. In a word, reliability. This is William Tell, who, contrary to popular belief, is a rotten shot. For the past 20 years, he has been trying to hit an apple on the head of his small son, who, understandably, is not so small anymore. Haha, <laughs> missed again. Bill's aim, obviously, lacks refreshment. Here's Mrs. Tell with a cold Heineken, your most popular beer. But the beer, instead of refreshing his aim, seems to be affecting the apple. But as long as he hits the booming thing, who cares? He takes aim again. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> Only Heineken can do this because it refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. A long time ago, when a lemon caught a cold, Sue. an elder lemon immediately took charge. And with the help of paracetamol, a decongestant in a hot, soothing liquid for a tickly throat, invented Lemsip. Soon the lemon began to feel better, thanks to that elder lemon. A lemon we shall never forget. <laughs>
10.30 tonight, we'll be meeting writer Jonathan Rabin. In 1979, he took a small open boat and decided to travel up the Mississippi, and then he wrote a highly successful book, Old Glory, The Journey and the Book on the South Bank Show, tonight at 10.30. Now, a fine romance. <laughs>